Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alright, uh, in this video, I'm going to solve the equation in unit test one, introduction to chemistry. Question number one: One of the roles of chemistry in agri agriculture is the first one uncover crime suspect to fingerprint. So this is crime. It's not related with the agriculture. It's related with criminology. Looking for information about soil content. Yes, this is the answer for the uh, agriculture. Is soil content. Make food preservative. It is about food chemistry. Managing clean water. It is about environmental chemistry. And make medicine from natural ingredients. It is not uh, about agriculture. It's about pharmaceutical chemistry. So the answer for this one is uh, looking for information about soil content. Okay. For question number two. The branch of chemistry that must be studied if someone wants to research of the content of active compound in plant is the important thing here is the active compound yeah active compound is important active compound it's mean that the compound that can be used as a medicine medicine so that's why uh, the answer for this one because it's active compound in a plant it must be pharmaceutical chemistry next question andika researched the effect of temperature on the reaction time to decompose hydrogen peroxide after finding the problem to be studied andi Andika means con conducted a literature study and made a temporary conclusion. Andika's implementation of the scientific method came to a stage. As you can see here, uh, Andika already did the temporary conclusion. So temporary conclusion means it is a hypothesis. So the stage of the uh, scientific method that Andika reaches formulate a hypothesis. The answer for the uh, this one is the first choice. The next question, the following statement that reflects an objective attitude when conducting research are It must be objective So let's see the option Write down the data according to the research, research results So this is objective yeah? You write down according or based on the data of your research So the first choice is the answer Provide a hypothesis based on theoretical studies This is not uh, actually related with This not related with the objectivity Yeah yeah, second one provide a hypothesis based on theoretical studies uh, so it is a little bit uh, conceptual using a method based on fact in the field so uh, if it's based on fact in the field it must be empirical yeah not satisfied with just one study to draw a conclusion so uh, it is a critical uh, critical thinking taking irrational conclusion based on experimental data uh, this is not the uh, attitude of the uh, researcher the researcher must be taking rational conclusion so it must be uh, what a logical conclusion so irrational obviously this is wrong next question the field of chemistry that a researcher must know in order to learn about nuclear reaction is is talking about nuclear reaction so the first one it must be nuclear chemistry a nucleus a nuclear reaction is talking about the reaction so the reaction in a uh, nucleus will be studied in physical chemistry so the answer is nuclear chemistry and physical chemistry it is not environmental chemistry because this is not talking about the effect of the nuclear uh, in the uh, environment if it is talking about the effect of the nuclear in the environment then it is environmental chemistry but it is talking about the reaction nuclear reaction so it must be physical chemistry the next question laboratory equipment which is used to cross and green to cross yeah and green so obviously from the picture we can see that this uh, equipment is used for cross and greens materials the next question this symbol in the level means yeah, so as you see from the picture this is a toxic symbols so the answer for this one is e actually that's a substance that may be fatal or toxic if inhaled ingest absorbed through the skin uh, the next one is the treatment or independent variable in experiment is independent variable it's mean that the variable that uh, varies or you make it different in every sample so uh, it is independent it is not controlled it is not dependent so it is independent so the answer for this one is the variable which is different in every sample so the last option is the answer 
the true order of degree of truth is as we know that uh, the last truth is of course the uh, hypothesis and after that we have the theory and then uh, the most uh, trustable is the low so when you see the option option last option here option e is the answer the true way to hit the test tube is when you look at the picture the true way to hit the test tube is uh, it must be a yeah yeah it must be uh, not pointed to your uh, face it must be pointed uh, outside and you don't have to feel the substance fully yeah if you see option e the substance is full in the test tube so this is also wrong uh, the substance must be not full and you have to uh, hit the test tube in angle like this uh, not pointed to your face but point pointed outside so the answer is uh, a a substance that has one kind of atoms or molecule is called it is one kind of atom and molecule or or molecule it must be pure substance yeah it is one kind of uh, atom only maybe it will be elements but it's one kind of atom and molecule so it must be a pure substance the true option about the com combination of substance according to the table below is a compound it is compound fixed proportion yes no new properties wrong it must be new properties mixture fixed proportion wrong mixture is uh, not fixed proportion Compound fixed proportion is true. New properties is true. So C is the answer. Mixture is fixed. Wrong. Mixture is not fixed. Compound not fixed is wrong. Compound must be fixed. So the answer is C. The evidence that show water is compound. So we are going to see the evidence that uh, show you that water is compound. It consists of atoms. Yes, but it is not the evidence. Uh, of the compound it must be consists of molecules so the second one is true it consists of molecules three it can be separated physically into its component no but it cannot be uh, separated physically it must be chemically so this wrong number three four it has unique properties that different from its component yes it's true uh, the properties of water is different from the properties of hydrogen and oxygen so the answer for this one is two and four air is the example of of course air is a mixture but which mixture it must be homogeneous mixture the last question when water separated into hydrogen and oxygen gases it showed that d what changes is this when water separated into hydrogen and oxygen uh, of course when water separated into uh, hydrogen and oxygen gas there is a chemical uh, process there so uh, the uh, changing that happened here is the chemical change that's all about the uh, unit test uh, inshallah it's beneficial for you thank you for watching assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh